All right, I have a vector here um, and I've not given it a size. And then down here at the bottom, I have printed out what's inside of it. It's a vector of chars. When I run this, you'll see um, there's not anything in there, so there's nothing to print. So I guess the question is, how do I put new stuff into a vector um, and ask it to get bigger to accommodate that new stuff? And so I'm gonna show you, um, I'm gonna make a single letter for the person to type into, and I'm gonna run a loop just that goes five times, um, just so I can show you how this works. All right, um, and maybe I'm gonna ask the user to give me a letter and I'll crap into here. And then how do I add that onto my vector so that my vector grows and the new letter is added onto it? Well, there is a method that goes with the vector class that looks like this. So I put the name of my vectors and then the word push back. And then in here, I'll tell it what to push back. So each time this runs, it'll collect a letter from the user and push back means tack onto the end and grow to accommodate it. Um, so theoretically, if I do that five times, then each of those letters will be in the vector. Let's see if that works. All right, A, B, C, D, E. And there they are printed out side by side um, from this code here. So this is how I can grow a vector by one and add a new input to the end of it.